the sun is starting to go down, but it was an absolutely beautiful day today. I missed most of it. I didn't know it was nice out. Me and the girl are in the garden. Anyway, the sun's going down. It's about... You won't be able to see it in a second. The garage is in the way. But still view right there. I don't know what time it is. It's after four. It could be five. The sun seems really low. Anyway, I just want to say hey. Hope everyone's having a beautiful Sunday. Much love. My garden's a mess. I haven't done anything with it since the last time I was here. I'm surprised that this isn't completely dead. It does have a lot of dried leaves on it, but it still has jalapenos on it. That one over there it does too. And I actually have a, I just sat down. <laughs> I actually even have a red burgundy okra here. I was surprised to see it. I don't know when the last time it was I was out here. I'm surprised that little thing is growing. It's voluntary. Oh look, I got little uh, okras growing around here too. So yeah, this stem is red, look. Mm, there is actually a little okra way up there. I'm just wondering if I should bring this I wonder if I should bring this dragon fruit in so it won't freeze. It doesn't really freeze much around here. Look at this. It's like roots. It doesn't really freeze much around here, but there's always that Easter snap. My blackberries. I'm hoping one day I'll get it planted and with a post like that. And maybe I can make some kind of thing to go around it for the winter time and I can like enclose it in the winter time and just like take the enclosure off. All those red ones fell off. But and uh, here's my eggplant. I cut it back tremendously. It was like, you know, out here and stuff. And I did see, look, that is um that's a little bud, so I don't know if the flower fell off of it already. I'm assuming it did, and that's theoretically an eggplant, but I haven't had one grow yet. It's had lots of flowers. What is that? Oh, it's just a feather, but from where I was standing, I couldn't tell what it was. Look at that. That's weird. Anyway. I actually have some little okras up here. What you doing out there, silly? Hey. Tell everybody hey. <laughs> and this this is an okra, but it doesn't have any leaves on it, so it feels fine, but I doubt it's gonna make it. This here is a blueberry. Kind of wimpy and that one is too down there and uh well i don't know these i don't know what these spots are i guess from getting cold but um and then that one there is leaning over but whoops that one there is leaning over now but it's got a lot of banana peppers on it some jalapenos they look like jalapenos, but this here, this here is a uh, banana pepper, but I still think this is coming off of the jalapeno. It's just propped up around that, because these here in front are jalapenos. All of these are jalapenos, and um, we've got some flowers. Yeah, there's a jalapeno right there. I must have that zoomed out still. Anyway, most all the leaves have fallen off of these, too. So the cold weather must have damaged them really well. And then these here, I got four. 
They're all scraggly too. These are uh, pink lemonade blueberries. And I have some onions here. There's onions sprattled through here. And then this is my, uh, what, rosemary? This is rosemary. And it smells really good. And then this one's a, a way out of control. And it's also leaning too. It's so big. And this is some lemon thyme. It's so pretty and delicate. But if you add a little water, it'll look better tomorrow. But, uh, like I said, I haven't been out here. I don't know. It's just like, it's like something hit this. And it's all this way. I don't know why. I don't know if that's, that's how it's growing because when the sun's been, or if the wind damaged it or whatever, but it's just like a big section missing, like somebody came and chunked some out. That's something I would do, but I haven't. Anyway, I'm surprised it's still growing. It's beautiful, it smells great. My hand will smell, my hand will smell like that all day. This and the lemon thyme. Mm. I need some lemon thyme, just put in the house. Because I love the way it smells. Here's my blueberries. This is just, this is just, these are just stocks from the Jerusalem artichokes. And uh, some pine straw, and then there's dirt and stuff under it. It's a bunch of dirt from the little bed that I had here. And then I had those Jerusalem artichokes in there. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking that this looks like a good size bed. That one's full, but I'm not liking how far this is apart. I think I want to redesign it, but I don't really know what I'm going to do. I like the way it looked better when it was a four foot solid mass. It was like four and a half foot here, there, and there. But this is more practical. The shorter bed, you can add more stuff. I think that you can't, I think it's too difficult to add. But if you really see that uh, you only need for like this here, I could have two rolls of this or even just one in a bed like this. I could have two, one on each side, and it would totally fill that bed up. And uh, the same with the peppers. Two, one or two rolls of peppers, like these are banana peppers. These are banana peppers. Uh, this one's falling over. Anyway. Anyway, um, so see, like if I had like a foot and a half or two foot bed for these peppers and then the jalapeno peppers, if they had their own space, like I think this is plenty. You could put a roll of peppers down the center. You could put your jalapenos here, your bananas here, your habaneros in another one like this. You could have your chocolate habaneros, your peach habaneros, your regular habaneros. Uh, I just think this, you can either have two rolls, one on the outer, like one here and one there, or you could just have one roll down the center. I mean, either way, it's going to be full. But the more bed you have like this, I think, the more stuff you can plant. So I was thinking that uh, maybe I need more room over here, or maybe this is fine. I just want to redo this whole entire area right here and make beds about... I just measure it and divide it and then I'll just make beds a foot and a half or two foot wide and then I just need a space to walk through here but if something's going to be big and bushy I'm going to need it wider or I won't be able to get through because it'll be bushy and then it'll be full in the middle on the top where you can't walk your feet will go but your body will be too big I don't know I'm just I don't know what I'm talking about I just think this space here is too wide. I don't know how wide this is, but it's more than four foot, I believe. But um, I don't think it's six. It could be. I don't know. Anyway, so if I have three, if I have three, three and a half foot in between each bed, I think three or three and a half foot is plenty room in between like this bed and then this bed and um so a foot and a half to two foot three foot then another bed a foot and a half i don't know i don't know if i'm going to do a foot and a half or two foot i believe this here is two foot 
I believe these two beds are two foot wide. I think that's plenty big. And uh, I just don't really know what I'm gonna do or if I'm even gonna have the time. I just want to do something so bad. So I would have like one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have six, I could put six of those beds like that size, but it might come out here a little bit more, which is fine because I have all of this room here. As long as I can get around here, that's good. So six beds like that instead of two beds like this. I don't know. But which makes me wonder now if I do these beds like this, what am I going to do with that? Just let them end into that? Or do I need to just get rid of all that? And if these boards were longer, then they could go out further. And which potentially I could make this bed go all the way to here. I just have to cut board, four foot boards. These are like four and a half foot between here and there. And then I could just run it from here to there. But if I would have gotten 12 foot boards, then uh, this is 16. This is 16 feet from here to there, I believe. These are eight foot boards. And I bought the eight foot boards because uh, it was a large difference in price between the eight and the 12 foot. So I got eight foot and that's why these are all eight foot, because it, the recipe called for 12 foot boards, but I just couldn't bring myself to pay the price for the 12 foot boards. But if I had 12 foot, a 12 foot run would be good, but a 12 foot run would just be somewhere right here. I don't know. I think these are too short just for that to be it. But then I would have to put a board from here. I'd have to put a whole bunch of little short boards to keep that bed here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just not happy with how it is. I'm not unhappy. I just wish it was different. And I don't really know where to go from here. And really, the biggest thing, the biggest problem I have is time and availability of supplies because you just can't jump in your car and run down to Home Depot and load it up with what you need. If you could, I would be there, that's for sure. I'm not freaking going to Home Depot, I'm just saying. And you can't, you can't look, this is beautiful. These are, I love these. I just have that set in there. It was over there on the other side. I need, I don't want to lose them in the winter, so I don't know what to do. These are blueberries. All of these are blueberries. Some of them don't look so good. I know I changed the subject, but I didn't mean to. I got sidetracked. I'm just a little fickle right now of what to do and how to do it. So, that one uh, dragon fruit was sitting here. And I picked it up and moved it, and then this one just voluntarily grew out of the dirt where I pulled that one up because the roots were growing in, into the ground, into this pot. So, so yeah, so I got a little one there. And uh, there's also a little one growing down here. I did plant this one, but it's broken. It broke off. And this one here is still alive, and that's been whatever. The last time I was out here, it was still like it was broken already. But anyway, I need to get this up. I tried to pull this up, but it always keeps coming down. Anyway, I could use a little help, too. <laughs> anyway. I could, I could probably order a truckload of dirt. But the problem is, is that they're not going to want to bring it back here. They're going to want to dump it in the front yard or the street. And I cannot 
I cannot get it all out of the way quick enough by myself. And I can't afford to pay somebody to wheelbarrow it back here. That would just be too costly. Anyway, back in the day, <laughs> dump truck, a dump truck came back here and put that load of dirt in. And it was much higher, but it's smaller now. That's some, that's some good hole filling dirt, but it's not good garden dirt. It's real hard. And, um, but literally the dump truck drove back here and dumped it right there. But a dump truck wouldn't do that today. So. Anyway, there's another, there's another pile like that on the other yard. Um, and they drove back there too. But companies just won't do stuff like that anymore. And, and for some reasons, I believe that I know, I understand what they're saying, but here in my yard, I know it's safe for them to do it, but they don't know that. And they got to protect themselves in their truck. They don't want to get their truck stuck in someone's yard because their truck is too heavy. But um, my father-in-law used to uh, own a truck, dump truck business, and he used to have a sand lot. So this yard is made for dump trucks. I mean, that was a long time ago, but he still, but this, the yard is still, you know, and he did not bring those dump trucks back there. Those were cut, brought in later, a few, uh, um, maybe, it was before 2015, but he hasn't been in the dump truck business since. Um, I'm gonna say the 80s. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know because he was out of the dump truck business before I came to the family. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that I know that it would not harm a dump truck to drive back here. There's plenty of room for the dump truck to drive all the way back here, but also know that since they're not comfortable with driving in people's yards that they don't know and they're not, and all the people that my father-in-law knows are dead, you know, because he's like 87. And so all the people he knew in that business is no longer around. And, um, so, you know, that's, that's life. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, I guess I'll start, I'll stop, <laughs> I'll try to stop talking. <laughs> I'm just, I ramble when I'm tired. I can't see the sun anymore, but it's still daylight. Not really sure what time it is. I'm really enjoying being out here. It feels a little chilly. It feels a little chilly. It feels a little chilly, but I'm in shorts. <laughs> I'm in shorts and a tank top and flip-flops. <laughs> so it's not really that cold. It's in the 70s. And uh, there's my little girl. There's my little girl over there. So, yeah. It's just a mess. It's just a mess.